woman who paid for Al Kelly's bond wants her money back. Mm -hmm. In February 2019, Al Kelly became a free man after receiving help from Valencia Love, a resident of Nebu neighboring <laughs> Chicago suburb. Uh, Miss Love was detailed as a friend in documents that were released after the singer posted bail. She's now wanting to get the money back after the singer was indicted. She put up $100,000 for Al Kelly's bond on Cook County sexual abuse charges. Miss Love was at the time criticized online and businesses that she owned were attacked by Kelly's protesters. Tuesday, a judge ruled that she would not receive her money back immediately with the possibility of not at all. <clears throat> so... <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> if she's going to get her money, I think it will be at the end of R. Kelly's case, With which the is not, of you know, not getting at all. all. Mm. No, but I read that even if she's going to get the money, it's going mm. to be at the end of, of the R. case, R. which is probably in years. We don't even need to wait to the end of the case. Um, R. Kelly has been indicted, like he's been found guilty by the federal. And you have him in custody. And they have him, the FBI found him mm. guilty, and he was there in the orange jumpsuit. And we know what mm. that means. The moment you're in that jumpsuit, it just means that there's no hope anymore. Let's be honest about it, because at the end of the day, we've seen people in that jumpsuit that don't get out or spend a little time, even if everybody must spend a little time. Mm. And then this is a man that was coughed and wearing the orange jumpsuit. So there's no hope, to be honest. Like, I think she just wasted the money thinking that Al Kelly was innocent. But I don't think, like we always see on the show, there's no smoke without fire, right? Mm -hmm. So everything, all those women can't just be coming out to say things about Al Kelly. And um, you know, some true. people just and really believe in you. <laughs> these are consistent stories, do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's not like one person will say, no, Al Kelly beats me. And then will come say, Al Kelly raped me. And then will come say, Al Kelly does child pornography. And then will come say, Al Kelly does this. Like, they're all consistent talking about the child pornography, talking about the oldness, whole stage, and all of that. So it's been a consistent story from beginning to the end. So there's no way anybody can take away some form of, some guilt mm. in a shape or form from Al mm. Kelly. So I think he's going to serve jail time. I think he deserves to serve jail time. Do you understand? Mm. And um, I hope she doesn't get the money back. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because what? I remember when Dead. this news broke in February, we talked about. She's it just been time. a good friend. Right? Yeah, <laughs> and um, I remember um, we had opinions on this table where we we're like, okay, it's a case of um, people saying this person is bad, and you have seen their good parts. Yeah, and you just want she's to just been a hold good on friend. to that yeah. good part with that hope that okay, this might not be true. So I know. I think she's even saying she, wa case, she, she wants that money hold back. On, hold on. She's saying. Hold on. If I do that for a friend, feeling that okay, I've seen their good parts. Yeah. Mm. I'll knock my ass for my money back. I'll just be disappointed. Like, okay, that's what, what does the law say about um, bail and bonds? I mean, it's something that they are not supposed to keep the, at least now, everything. The reason why she's she's, the reason why she wants her money back now. What does the law say about jail and bond? Well, about that's what that was, I asked the question exactly. until I go back to check. But I know it's not something that's supposed to be let go entirely. Really? Yes. Are you sure about yes. that? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay. Like for me, she's not even. I think she she wants the money back just so that um, they will use it for R. Kelly's lawyers. Now? Yeah, now. It's not like she really wants the money back, wants the money back. Because she's saying that, okay, fine, I, I paid that money just mm -hmm. so it will get out of jail on mm -hmm. bail. And now he's been arrested without, like, the, you, can't, you can't get him out on bail. So mm -hmm. just return my money back to me. And then, so his lawyers will get it and it will cover for their um, fees and all of that. It's not like she wants the money f back to herself and no. She just does not want to give the money back. She's still being supportive. Not like she's been, I'm backing out and all. She's still been, because she was, she, um, I read in one of the interview and then she was saying something like, she's not supporting a pedophile, but she's supporting a friend because mm -hmm. he has not been found guilty, guilty. yet. Okay. That until then, that's when she can now decide that, okay, he's a he's pedophile and I'm backing out. But now, if you're putting him behind bars, like, without bill, just return my money back to me.